Hello and welcome back to another episode of Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on uh, the hardest difficulty on fair. <clears throat> and we are currently in Gamma something something. Kiava Gamma, that is what I was looking for. Just begun. Trying our best to stay alive here. Using a couple of our trauma kits just to reduce the wounds that we're having. Uh, we know that the Omnissiah has been driven out of out of these halls because the tech priests, ha priests have gone insane. And it is very likely that some chaos corruption is um, in these halls. All right, as you approach the Kogiator, you notice a number of deep scratches left by a huge claws on the metal surface. Uh, you touch the levers and reels. The machine dwells uh, as if still drowsy, but nev nevertheless performs uh, the function. <coughs> and with that, we can go deeper through the Mechanicum here. View the lock. The lock contains nothing of interest. Okay. All right, we're opening up. Unexpected result. A hidden room. Time to leave my mark upon the galaxy. Well, maybe it was not that hidden because there is a door. My success is high. But it certainly was the alternative uh, towards opening it here. Okay, cool. Well, <clears throat> what else can we do back here? This looks like loot that we already have taken. So off we go, uh, deeper. Trembles beneath my feet. I'm already looking forward for that four-legged tech priest. But they have foreshadowed. All right, viewing the log, um, discover local data ca uh, cache with uh, contents collected by other previous operators. Review the supply protocol. At first glance, it looks like a typical ship uh, reporting uh, report, but it becomes apparent uh, that the focus here was of assembly parts, but augments uh, that are extracted from living tech priests. Okay. Uh, the second lock, the production lock, was uh, damaged. The stored data can only be comprehended with a twisted mind of chaos corruption. And then we have the ascension protocol. This record uh, is been done by some mad chaos worshippers. The cradle uh, that rocks the child, whatever that means. Intriguing. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Join me in prayer. The emperor favors me today. We have plenty of uh, plenty of traps up Never here. Embrace Having a good power. disarmor, demolition expert, is absolutely vital. Powers unseen uncover my power. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, this one here leads up to. An area that we've already been at. <coughs> Fair enough. I so we want to go to here. Unexplored. I'm hoping that we don't need Nothing to fight through hard. another set of quote unquote no trash mobs. <coughs> Nothing it's against. To the ordeal nothing against a good knock or two, but. Voyage. Uh, they are only to have a purpose and not just prolong the quote unquote dungeon against the same type of opponents. Excellent. 
Embrace true power. The cyber gears are asking for the exit code that you do not have. Okay, well, we need to get that done. Large devices, cargo lift used for transporting carts. Okay. Such is my observance. The world trembles beneath my feet. When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Fabulous. So. Uh, we're still requiring the access code, which we apparently do not have. And up here... Uh oh Chaos Marine. That's not good. 700 hit points? That's absolutely not good. Unexplored. The Crucified Body had all of the Augments removed. Uh, the Crucified Body. And the Vibes, which are previously used to store fuel, have been turned into reservoirs for blood. Uh, this looks like another fight that we are about to have. Well, might as well move into it. Demands the tech priest to tear himself away from the reading of uh, the data slate and looks at you. His respirator augment is missing. Instead, the lower half of his face is covered with a deathly pale artificial flash. I heard your footsteps in the void. You are Van Valencius, are you not? Initiating arrest procedure. This unique, uh, unit is using a fabricated identification code, which uh, constitutes a grade 4 transcription. Identify yourself. My name is Demens um, Hanoiman. I believe it is familiar to you. Statement is false. The unit stands for um, identi uh, identity theft. I'm guilty of many things, but not the transgression you speak of. I've stolen nothing from you, my tech comrade, unlike many others who have indeed robbed you. I'm giving you a chance to explain why you're using the name of another. Another? I have the right to bear this name. It is my humble inheritance, which I received from Archmagos um, Amanat. To the renounce, it is to betray his idea. The blessed Amanat taught us that the cycle must be discontinued, and it seems that uh, mm, I have become his best student. Now I aspire to know all, comprehend all, as the Omnisire's will. Blasphemies, shouts Pascal. Should you continue these sacrilegious mentions of sacred litanies and heretical perversions of the blessed uh, Amonard's philosophy, you will be destroyed. Demoness says, um, you wish to sound outraged, but I sense your curiosity and I understand. I am deciphering the great mystery, uh, and my name became the start of the key. I analyzed the archives and found the places where it should not be. Hanoiman, 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 I keep searching this marker upon the traces of the great plot and uh, the deception created uh, by Archmages Armanos. No sound uh, mind is capable of such twisted cunning, but my mind was no longer sane, it could no longer stay within the narrows of the confines of the norm. Each new discovery loosened the imperatives of obedience. Uh, and granted even greater freedom. I developed, I avoided traps of the maimed hunter. Do you wish to show me the truth? You are an heretic, are you not? Merely a seeker of knowledge. Am I a heretic? The fabricator sensor didn't think so. He constructed inspections, uh, but did not probe it my research. Later, when mystery, mysterious uh, visitors revealed the truth uh, to his optics, he became uh, once more. All right, Pascal goes like, the reason for your failure in this unit operations has been established. You have fallen victim to the cognitive corruption of chaos. Are you the one who stole Margot's Taurus's personal code and made an attempt of his life? No. Why would I do that? Term not recognized. I don't want to see his truth. Pascal, do you have a preference regarding killing your former tech comrade? His voc uh, Pascal switches to Techna Lingua. His vox erupted a series of binary uh, symbols. 
There is no need for secrecy. Let him understand. Following a voluntary surrender, I will be willing to uh, commute the punishment from immediate destruction to arrest and isolation for the purpose of conducting an, an exhaustive um, interrogation. A wise decision. Request denied, Tech Comrade. You will have to pull what you know the out of my hand. Of your struggle amuses me. Cross the well, not an absolute surprise. Of corrupted servitors here, and 500 hit points worth of uh, enemies. You and you and uh, Cassia, you position yourself here. Pascal over here, Cassia over here, Heinrich stands here. Is anyone behind us? No. Straight up fight. We Gucci. Alright, Cassia into Heinrichs, Heinrichs into buffing Let's everyone, uh, defense and buffs himself. Uh, Cassia done. Uh, Saiken uh, with a few wow, buffs on Argenta, on as usual. Cassia with um, are opening the back line to here, uh, doing a little bit of that, and uh, pulling all of these guys nicely together before then putting that uh, there. Emperor, give me strength. I'm a navigator, not a servitor. Good, we're going to hit all of them because those little uh, servitors are actually relatively difficult to, uh, to hit. So automatic damage is the way to go there. Nice little kill zone, I like that. We're putting a blitz stratagem on this zone. A little bit more defense wouldn't hurt. Hit all three of them before using Machine Spirit Communion. Ouch. Oh wow, okay, well that's a lot of damage. That corrupted uh, Rust Taker needs to die. One hit, two hits. <coughs> I'll do it. Faith without deeds is worthless. And three hits were up to five stacks. Lovely. And we're good. So, like I mentioned, we have a bit of a problem here. How many hit points do you guys have? 400. Kasia gets a buff. I need a foothold. Natural. We're ta uh, taunting both of them onto us. And let's, see let's hit them with a Psy attack. Well, it's only 40, unfortunately. Just hoping for a little bit more damage. Good, Saiken gives everybody damage, thanks to his buffs. Then it inspires Argenta. And 
then hits the servitor for 350 damage. Mwah. Chef kiss. Argenta gets a free reposition. Well, you know what? Does she even need that? No, she does not. Hit into Deminus, who is now on the short end here. As the Emperor commands, <laughs> as the short end of the stick is what I meant to say. He takes a lot of sniper shots. As the Emperor commands, I is why I was chosen. Ruin beckon. Very good. Taking his neural cognitor, the data contained within must be analyzed uh, and operated. Reasonable measure. Statement is true. Pascal leans over the corpse, activates a sampling tool out of one of the uh, mechanic trees, and plunges it into the augments. Embrace true power. This guy had a nice little plasma gun and. 10 bonus to logic. Is the plasma gun better than ours though? We have a heavy plasma gun. Oh wow, this guy has a massive plasma gun. 20 to 30, that's even better. Max ammo. Ours has a bit of dodge reduction, which I appreciate, but his has more damage. Luckily, he did not uh, get a chance of using uh, that. The world trembles beneath my feet. Okay, so tech use up here. This car is filled with uh, broken pieces of spare parts. This here will be a little bit more difficult. Nothing's impossible for this old officer. Intriguing. Release the car brake. That could help us with um, Uh, I thought it running it into the Chaos Space Marine, but the I suppose that's not totally bad either. We got a cog and um, we need to... Or well, valve is potentially the better word. We got a valve <coughs> and we need to put it onto any of uh, these tubes. Powers unseen uncover my path. All right, opening the door. Still looking for the code that they were talking about. Maybe we can get it from here. <coughs> And the cogiator looks dead, only a single lumen shows life within the machine. Uh, we light it up, uh, several uh, lumens light up the panel, you hear distinct clicks and the cogiator goes quiet, clearly having fulfilled its purpose. Empyrean guides my gaze. Okay, so... Look at that. We found a suitable valve and that hopefully will uh, give us big My fat loot. I'm still new to the art of exploring. The Emperor sets my path. The layer of thick dust tells uh, that this place has very few visitors. Cast your eye there. All right, let's go for the data furnace. 
As you approach, uh, the heavy thrum of the ancient service motors erupts from the machine's depths with a crackling binary undertone, dust covered keys are illuminated by faint pale coal. Uh, or disabling traps. And the machine reacts to the request for Theodora's data with the signal following by a long, long low drawn out uh, tone. I tread a path unexplored. Ready for Items received. Uh, data bank. Um, data contains has been surely encrypted okay so we got ourselves a big a big nice uh, data bank will bow. but we also got minus 15 ballistic skill in return which I don't like to think about how that's going to uh, work uh, with Intriguing with the space chaos space marine there. Stings. Okay, we got another makeshift structure here, and I think, for what it's worth, we're setting up a ladder here. The wearer's melee attacks made against enemies under the effect of exposed weakness decrease the strength and agility by uh, 10. Well, we do have exposed weakness automatically. Question is, who melee attacks? So it's more strength and weapon skill, and you got, like, what? Just 10 strength. Hmm. I like the idea of debuffing, to be fair. The question is... Is it worth giving up 10 weapon skill and 5 strengths? Potentially not. Lesson learned. Embrace true power. We could move up to here, but there is nothing up here. Let's seize the opportunity. Experience. Nothing matters more. All right, let's get our wounds treated, and then we're continuing the exploration. Very good. So we're back. We found ourselves now in the middle here, without any wounds. So a little trick in order to get back into into a pristine shape all right got enough consumables so that's fine always powers unseen Stop. uncover there. my path okay wait wait wait, wait. <clears throat> couple of tech cultists and we got traps right this guy is super tough and does have a bolter, but not a heavy bolter. Rate of fire 4 is actually not too bad, but he does have curse bringer. Any damage inflicted by this creature increases the critical chance, uh, critical hit chance against them. The next attack against this creature will absorb by the cursed armor. The attacking enemy will also be cursed, suffering a critical hit from the next incoming attack. Well, wonderful. Can already see where this is going. Sins hidden in the heart. My ascension has only just begun. Do you require a color the uncolored? I guide humanity between the stars. Good. Well, here we go. These guys cannot be argued with. Might as well start wiping them out. We don't want to cluster up too much. Saiken and Argenta are moving in. Heinrichs is positioned over here. 
Pascal is positioned there and we're starting the battle. Unfortunately, there's only so much you can do about not clustering up. Um, Psych and buffs Argenta. Cassia forces everybody uh, to come to one point. Uh, then begins to use this here and move in herself. Backline, yep, and frontline. Okay, what do we have as a free stratagem? Nah, I don't like that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to this let this stars? guy lose hit points because all of a sudden with minus 30 toughness, uh, he lost over 100 hit points. All right, move up here. Fantastic. Uh, whilst we're at it, Everybody here gets a nice little stare. Heading over an action to Saiken, who in return will be using this and this here. I will triumph. Oh, 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 300 hit point of damage on that Chaos Marine. Lovely. Fabulous. Alright, so everybody in this area here in will inflict quite a bit of uh, damage. Chaos Space Marine is debuffed. We're opening him up for more damage. Nice. Fantastic. 50-50. Unfortunately a miss. And... Everybody gets joint analysis. All right, before anything starts, Amidst the carnage, I find Argenta the gets her turn. The enemies of the moves Empire up. Will be undone. Doubt is for the weak. Faith without deeds is worthless. We're using all of her abilities and let's go to town uh, with this guy. 100% hit chance. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That was good. Uh, that was deliberating, debilitating. Sorry. Oh man! What an absolute bloodbath! I will not. As the emperor commands, I. We had a 100% hit chance and it was like 30 a pop <clears throat> and I haven't even used uh, Inspire yet. Sure I've done that beforehand. I need no guidance. Ruin Up to 400 points of damage. Oh my lord. I think I just broke the game. The team is becoming so 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 strong heresy grows <clears throat> i better myself through my service that chaos space marine he was like yeah i got this but no 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 he did not get uh, got anything all bonuses from the wearer's combat tactics are increased by 5% for one round if the wearer uses a stratagem different from the one used before 
Uh, it's not a completely bad mantle, but the question is... Uh, when the wearer ends their turn, they remove uh, all of the effects. Yeah, that's a better mantle. And what do you have? You know what? Might as well give you that mantle. And we got a nice little heavy bolter. Uh, besides the fact that that is heri uh, heretical. I um, unexplored. That why elsewhere is quite uh, good. Okay. We solidly uh, served that uh, Chaos Space Marine a very, very good See, lesson. Ima right remember there. end of, uh, end of the, uh, the first uh, chapter, so to speak, where, where we were fighting easily. against uh, that one Chaos Space Marine Let's as an end boss? Well, maybe it's now time for a new end boss. All we need to do is my feet. get this guy down. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We Time to leave my mark upon have a bit of prayer. a bit of cover over here, which should be good for us. You are in the presence of House Orcelio. I'm at your service. What is it, Rogue Trader? Do you require an audience? There is a further. I'm restless. Does something trouble you, Lord Captain? Oh, okay. Well, they got one of these things. Just removing some cover. Don't mind me I'll here. I'll guide your vessel and lead you on your way. Is that guy damaged? I don't know. You, uh, the probability of navigating your way of reaching my inner line was neglectable. The primordial truth guards me and my work. Then, why is it that this variable had has yet to be eliminated? Uh, your minions are dead. Both of you and your host are likewise failed to stop me. There are things more frightening than death, a troglodyte. To submit to one's existence under false dogma. To condemn sacred machines bound to feeble flesh and pointless calculations. Yeah, alright, we're attacking. That's not going to be... Uh-oh. Damn it, this might be a really tough fight. Funnily enough, uh, they kill their own servants. For the Imperium. For the God Emperor. Cassia kind of stands over here-ish. You know, might as well stand there. Heinrichs uh, will need an extra turn. Abelard goes to here. Uh, the rest is already in position. Here we go. Argenta. Please take these buffs. Everybody moves up nicely. See, uh, that's what I'm calling a group hug. That, that, and a little bit of that. If you insist, Lord Captain. Yeah, and we're just making sure that everybody here gets a nice debuff. All right, fantastic. They're moving even closer. If I may. Me. 
Psychic gets a bonus. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Little stair. Into another little stair. Yep, after a double stair, things are getting more and more into perspective, aren't they? Good, everybody is now debuffed properly, I shall say. Kill zone over here. Defense here. The boss is debuffed. Big fat AoE attack. And everybody else gets a joint analysis, so we're good. I would like to understand what's our... Yeah, that's an easy chance to hit these guys. And there's not even someone standing in the way. Okay. Double that, and here we go. Fantastic. As the Emperor commands, I act. Doubt is for the weak. Faith without deeds is worthless. All right, control shot. A little bit of that, and I'll do it. you'll have a hard, uh, difficult time, my friend. Granted, it's not as um, it's not as if we can immediately get uh, them completely down, but that was already quite good. And I could now do individual shots, but we'd rather give him one turn. And that's the best you can uh, come up with in one turn, my dude. That was but pathetic. Course, Lord Captain. Let's see to it. For the throne's glory. Heinrichs um, buffs himself it. and we're going to go in. But of course, Lord Take Captain. this. Okay, well, he does not like to be attacked uh, close up. I get that. Indeed, I will do my duty. It will be done. Victory is imminent. Through chaos, I stride. So you get a little bit of that. I get a little bit of that. Um, first Argenta gets her turn. As the Emperor commands, I act. Faith without Good. is worthless. I'll see if we can get him down in a burst. Not completely down, but this guy is suffering, man. Lots and lots of critical hits. Matter of fact, every single one of uh, these is critical hit. Um, we do a little bit of that. 
and a bit of that and then afterwards it's up to 450 despite of all of his uh, stupid defenses our dps is massive man <laughs> our dps is massive Wow, we got that boss down and it was not even close, not even close. So we got plus 10, 20 to tag use, we're now at 140, that's pretty damn good. The world will bow. Well, hello there. Okay, we're leveling up, and then um, I think we're off to the return to the void ship. Look I'm not sure sir. if uh, this colony can be saved. All right, we're not done yet. Uh, we, uh, be, when I was trying to leave the area, uh, Pascal be, um, Heinrichs essentially told me we still have a job to do. I was uh, walking around uh, the area for a bit because he talked um, about an area that we haven't explored and to be feet. fair this door here was the only thing that we have not explored yet so that and the code um, in one of the machines uh, might be what we're looking for so let's uh, explore the place a little bit further before we're leaving because uh, the side quest of Heinrich still needs a proper finishing Ooh, what do we have here? Screen of the Cogiator shows scrolling, line of repeating techno linguature. Interesting. Numerous wires and pipes run into the filthy cages, which are filled with what looks like a conglomeration of human bodies. You cannot make out who is who in the cage. Oh boy, that is bad. That's really bad. Okay, well, that's really bad. So, Heinrichs uh, goes there as a true Inquisitor. Heinrichs, be careful. Look at it. Heinrichs gestures towards the cage closest to you. Through the metal bars, you see truly a pile of human bodies or something that it used to be. Once seriously deformed bodies have been fused together in places, whilst uh, others were uh, severed using saws and knives, leaving wounds seeping pus and slime, wounds that are agglutinating and sprouting teen, uh, tenders. Rods connected with wires that run to the nearby cogiator bristle across the flesh. One of the human uh, heads turns to you, Mercy. Okay. Mercy, mercy, make it stop. As you study them, you examine the pulsating mass of flesh. The creature of this cage seems to be composed of um, several bodies joined together. You see no struggles of any other means by which the uh, separate parts could have been connected. Amongst the layers of meat, you can discern large knots of muscle, various limbs, exposed bones, parts of the faces of entire heads. Only warp sorcery is capable of creating such an abomination whilst preserving the ability to live on. What is this? Uh, no idea. The Lex Mechanicus mentioned the inhabitants of the lower levels have been imprisoned in their homes. He said something about them being brought here. Cultists did something to these poor people. Um, and now they are studying the results. Their people. Uh, those monst monstrously mutated, but they are still people. Um, to know the workings of dark sorcery means allowing corruption into oneself. These warp mutations, no doubt, perhaps there was a side effect. Um, even the fallen tech priests who have rejected the Omnissiah are driven by a perverted hunger for knowledge. While they're hooked into the cogiators, lingua techniques corrupted by scrap code, I'm sure, likely be able to extract anything useful from them. But just as you turn away, you hear you, a female uh, face, watches you from within the gloom of the cage, even though half of her head uh, has been turned into a mess of bones and lamp and grows. Her single eye looks at you with a uh, surprise and an amount, uh, with a surprising amount of intelligence. You promised, you promised us. Her words echoed by the other voices in the deep cage. 
Who are you talking to? What have they promised you? Who are they? Heinrich says. You, you took us from the inferno. You promised us a reward. Her face contorts her grimace. Creature's lips uh, stick together like melted wax. I'll be damned they can still speak. They remember the people who did that to them. Perhaps a little biomancy will allow us to draw a fragment of knowledge out of them. Abelard is very much against it, likely. Esteemed Margos, these are your comrades. If I may ask, do you feel any compassion for them? Pascal, negative. What I'm currently observing is a non-tech comrades, but merely their biological functioning remains fashioned into a specimen of unnatural perversion. As a, dogma a, dom a dogmaticist, we are saying, if there is something that will make them talk, well, let's do it. Heinrich's nods. Yep, there's possible another person who would refuse to make such choice, but we can use the situation to help investigating. Heinrich hesitates for a moment, then closes his eyes and raises his hand. You are enveloped by an otherworldly chill. The mass of flesh in the cage suddenly rears up. The mutant wrenches open glued eyes, uh, glued uh, together lips, and begin to wailingly friend. Uh, uh, wailing frantically. The sh uh, screeching is echoed uh, by a chorus of howls, tortured moans coming from the neighboring cages. Liar, you promised to kill me, you promised a deliverance. Every one of you, you told me we would have hope and the pain would go, except the truth. But my only hope is to be free from this pain. Please make it stop. And that is it. Lamentations of dying people. No, not just that. What is said about the sounds is a lie of chaos, which is used uh, to take the root in the weak minds. I believe the corrupt the tech priest repeated this phrase like an echo of what has been installed into them. Whatever the cult of the final dawn is planning, uh, false hope is a key component of their plan. That's that then. Um, but do you know what bothers me, Rogue Trader? The number of people here, they are far too few. The lower levels, similar to the Manufactorian, are usually inhabited by millions. I know you won't like the answer, but we still have a work to do. Intriguing. Wow, if a million people this are turned into flesh sandwiches, which means that it or meatballs, with fire down to the last then crevice. that would be really, really, really bad. It's a data vault. Your zeal is laudable, but first I must ascertain the intentions of the archenemy. These manifestations without a second thought. Good. I'm just making sure that we're not guides me. leaving stuff here. True power. Good. Data vault. The mass of Kogieta grows out of the metal bulkhead like a grotesque tumor. A hollow roar sounds from deep within the metal. As soon as your eyes fall upon the Kogieta, you feel the tingling of your temples. Every nook, every component of the machine radiates a sense of wrongness. It is though as the construct itself defies the laws of physics in perspective. Stop, Saiken. That is a creation of the Ark enemy. Don't go near it. I have, uh, you've done enough for me and my mission, don't put yourself at risk now, is what he says as he steps closer. As soon as Heinrich takes another step towards the cogiator, it emits a deafening shriek. Um, hundreds of metal needles driving through tortured glasses, uh, though sensing a stranger wincing, Hen uh, Heinrichs approaches the control panel and bends down towards the screen. Despite uh, the heat clogging the room, you feel an ice-cold breeze. Heinrichs is clearly using his psychic abilities. Pascal, the Omnisire's uh, grace has not touched this object. The mechanism was not designed, but was born flawed and unnatural. Keep your distance and wait. A minute passes and another. You watch Heinrichs ex uh, examine the cogiator. His eyes scan the screens, his hands darting from the reel to the lever. Um, sometimes hovering uncertainly over the next switch, which immediately receives a coating of frost. At some point you hear his voice almost a whisper, barely auditable. Sacrifices more and more of them every minute. Hacker Tom determines uh, the womb of this cursed machine is down to the lower levels. The auxiliary enumerators controls the system for delivering molten waste under the Manufactarium's main building. The cogiator is fueled by the energy harnessed from thousands of people who are flowing beneath our feet as slack of waste as we speak. But I cannot even imagine the reason for sacrificing all these people. It's inconceivable now that we know what the fabricator sensors prices this, most, uh, this monster so highly. 
the cursed tech priest and his associate created something that was uh, went well beyond the limits of the Omnisire's power. This machine is designed to process the myriad possibilities using warp uh, sorcery. It almost finished its task. It, it predicts the future. Heinrich, so are you all right? I'll be fine. Is that even possible? Do not attempt to gain any insights into the essence of the machine corrupted by the arch enemy, at least not if you value your soul. I have encountered the heretics uh, machine's abominations before. To truly fathom their nature is to allow to partake death into your heart. But the fruit uh, they bear, no matter how abhorrent their instructions, the fruit they bear could be useful. Yes, let's allow the machine to finish its calculations. I wish to know what precisely the cult uh, minions were so desperate to see in the future. Perhaps to increase the power would be finished sooner. This decision is on your conscience, Heinrichs. Heinrichs, I will accelerate the process so that everything is over as soon as possible. Cogator's screen flashes and the glutteral roar in the depths turns to a frantic shriek. It seems to contain the death of cries of thousands. Heinrichs bends over the keys and flinches as if uh, a hit from an electric shock. His head snaps back unnaturally and you see his lips moving. The Cogator lets out a roar that grows louder by the second. Well, fear you not. Fan effing tastic. 660 hit points. Screech of chaos. Alright, Cassia stands here. Psyken here. Argenta here. Good old Pascal here. Heinrich extends here, just so that we're a little bit uh, more split. Um, Saiken gives Agenda a buff. Then moves to here and gives Heinrichs a buff. Heinrichs gives everyone a buff. But of course, Lord Captain. Naturally. Including buffing himself. Me. If you insist, Lord Captain. Nice little further buff. I like that. I'm not accustomed to being this, around. and then we got backline. I am a navigator. Backline over there. Um, this thing is 660 hit points. After if debuffing it, it's 570. So that's 100 points of damage. Good job, Cassia. I like what I'm seeing. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Uh, Saiken. Can actually use his own attack. Should do that. I need no guidance. 200 points of damage, that's super solid. I'm not accustomed to being all Another 60. And listen, whilst we're at it. Another 50. Sure thing. Pascal moves up. Kill zone stratagem there. The knows all. 
Damage reduction. Big fat hit. 112 points of damage, that's what I'm talking about. And another 40. That thing will not even see the light of day. Oh, no, that's the wrong shot. No, no. Oh, that was unfortunate. Well, never mind. Heinrich goes back to the broken cogiator and spends a while examining the uh, instrumental panel, disconnects the components. That's what the machine was put into operation for countless symbols and numbers containing knowledge of things to come. I hope my specialists will find a way to decipher the code. I hypothesize that this service will not be needed. You're correct, Magos. I'm grateful for your help, but unfortunately I must conceal the fruits of uh, the labor from you. As you have seen, my calculation is well founded. Restrictions recognized as valid. What happened when you touched the machine? We'll talk about it later. I must thank you, Saigon. Without your help and cooperation, I doubt I would have reached the depths of Kiava Gummer and learned the truth behind the agents. I would have never succeeded. Yeah, I hope esteemed interrogator that your keen interest in this is from Valencia's uh, world has been satisfied. Oh, apart from the fact that the world is still seized by the arc enemy's corruption, the populace is infected with heresy and the one sacred machine is a manufactorium turned into the weapons of humanity. Quite satisfied, yes. My business on Kiev Adama, Agama is concluded. It is time to return the mission. Uh, that brought us to the industrial world. The one thing I'll ask of you is an audience when we return to the ship. The world will bow. Okay. Flame in the dark. Okay. I think we need to move um, back to the ship. There isn't that much uh, that is left here. These poor souls. Still seems to be some sort of a code uh, for that one section, but I have unfortunately not found it, which is a bit irritating. It's almost like there is, uh, seems to be another secret and then you can't really reach it. That's very unfortunate. So we're talking about I think it was this section here. Or oh, no, it was we the section up there. This. Yeah, we can't, I we haven't found any code, explored. unfortunately. There's a dying tech priest. Okay, that might be it. Approach the still breathing man. The man can barely breathe without the resp uh, respirator implant. Um, the augment was uh, ripped out uh, to realize death is only a matter of time. Sheen spirit, deliver me, he says. Binary uh, requiem coming from Pas uh, Pascal's Vox sound solemn and grim. Upon hearing it, the man mutilates face twist into a weak semblance of smile. Who did this to you? My comrades, machine spirit has the Omnicide truly abandoned us. Kiava Gamma has fallen to the maw of the eternal enemy. The holy Maggie, they succumbed to her heresy. The rest were stripped uh, from their true flesh, fed. The heresy preserved us, preserved us from earring. I knew you would come. I've waited very long. Deliver me from my torment. Argenta's like, what a horrible fate. 
I test that the three category requirements for assigning the status of a martyr of the face have uh, have been met. Post the enemy, preservance of adherence of the dogma, and a brutal death. It's an honor. I'm thankful for the right to serve. All right. Steal your heart, servant of the Imperium. Your words will help uh, me to bring down those who have betrayed Kiava. Gamma, may the Omnissiah strengthen my will. May I resound in dissonance. No machine spirit angel of these ex machinas uh, that I saw the fabrication sensor himself rip the flesh out of uh, our tech comrades and chanting the litany of vessels of corruption. Fabricator sensor does not serve the Omnissiah, he obeys a different power. Uh, the one whose herald came to Kiava Gamma, the onset of the insurgency, his mouth spewing the corruption. Fear him, for he is. he is. Ugh. The world yeah, for bow. he is dead, unfortunately. This looks like uh, something that we could interact with if we had another valve. Triumphant as always. Embrace true power. Uh, too bad. Let's seize the opportunity. We must find the code somewhere here. Powers unseen uncover my path. Hmm. All right, let me search for the code. Good, we unfortunately were not able to find it, so time for us to go back. Sharp pain pierces through your head and the light dims in your eyes. You smell smoke and burning and you feel a wave of nausea. Your legs buckle and your knees hit the floor in the same moment as uh, the manufactorium surrounding you disappears in a whirlwind of mist. Struggling against the elements, you can barely raise your uh, head to look. Who or what are you? Uralon the Cruel. It looks like a chaos um, space marine or even worse. Maybe a chaos servant. I am the master of those who have been felled by your hand in the halls of the primordial truth. I am Ulon the Cruel. Uralon the Cruel. The souls of my followers returned to the font of power they served, crying out for me to cast my gaze towards the sacrilege. What do I see? Yet another leckery of uh, the corpse emperor. They call you a hero. An empty word worthless pedestal amongst hundreds like it, all built by the lackeys of the false god in their hubris and ignorance. This pedestal will soon become a sacrificial altar, and you will become yet another reminder to the expanse that no hero can serve, uh, save itself from the truth. The giant's voice causes a storm raging around you to die down somewhat as uh, if the very sound in his voice is enough to make the whirlwind subdue. You glance at the huge warrior and notice that his chest is uh, a winding azure symbol, uh, winding an azure symbol. The shades of, a, of blue seem to glimmer and mingle together. This is the bridge that connects our minds, created by the will of my slaves, uh, whose fate sh uh, you should be envying. 
The Psyker is useful enough for me to be left alive. You, less so. I'm the sovereign of Kiavagama. This is my world, not the dominion of chaos. Oh, clinging to illusions will do you no good. The rituals have already been performed. The mortals are already singing the litanies of the primordial truth. What do you want? I want to look upon the one who has disrupted my flock's duties in my master's plans. That warrior from the Legion, the fabricator censor, you think of their death as a triumph. However, it is but a minor hindrance on our path. Revel in your victory, it will change nothing. All right, you waste your time trying to tempt me. It is not blood that defines a person. All of what the will does be gone from my mind. Pitiful insect, you dare. Gust of Whimper sweeps a Uralan's figure away without a trace. The mist around you begins to dissipate. That was a close call for the sake of holy terror. I lost the second rogue trader in such a Pl uh, palmy span of time my only option would have been to shoot myself out of the unending shame I sense the presence of another psyker someone made contact with you mentally and tried to harm you with sorcery it did what it could you at least appear unharmed can you remember what you saw it was a chaos space marine one of the traitors of the Imperium um, he might have forced some mortal to do his bidding. Perhaps it was through the same hapless medium that he sensed the death of his henchmen. Such indiscriminable power you would have reached out of your mind for such a distance. He said something about Theodora. I see. We can theorize later. Although I will say, Saiken, that his words uh, do not leave much room for interpretation. All right, uh, one more dialogue uh, with our good friend Heinrichs, but before we do anything here, we got a couple of ancient machineries and a core. Purify and restore Kiava uh, Gamma, no matter the cost. Mmm, mobile extractions, lovely, and we are very much dogmatic. Oh yes, and we got a nice colony. This is a nice weapon, but that's an even better weapon. Plot steel security, that will be profit factor minus, I don't like that. Um, but this here would give us mechanisms. Whenever the wearer ends their turn, they deal a number of adjacent creatures warp damage to each adjacent creature and to the wearer themselves. Oops. I think we're just going with this here. Security and weapons are good. I like it. And now that we do have Kiavagama. Is there anything else that we could do? Okay, we need to go to variable 6 soon. Because we're required there. But apparently we can't build anything. Well, at least we got Kiava Gamma. And if... Yeah, let's do the dialogue before we're doing anything else. Because with another colony, we're actually doing very well for ourselves. We are actually doing very well for ourselves. Good, Heinrichs, my man. 
You wanted to talk. To what do I owe this visit? Okay. Are you satisfied with the results of Kiavagama? More than. The data we retrieved is already in the hands of the Inquisition. In the custody of those who can extract the secrets of the future from the claws of chaos. The sacrifices made to the Cogitator will not have been for nothing. We dealt a blow not only to the cultists, but to the archenemy itself. I cannot help but be pleased. However, there is something I must tell you. Back there, at the Cogitator, my decision to let it complete its operation allowed me to... I can't even find words to perceive something of what is to come. You deserve to know this. The cult is threatening the worlds within your protectorate, after all. I could choose to think of it as an echo of the past or a specter of the future, but that's not it. Warp sorcery joins stretches of time together, violating the accepted sequence and flow of events. I heard a resonance of the person behind the cult. I faced demons more than once before, but this? I couldn't have imagined such a concentration of evil and corruption. I am convinced that one of the greater demons is behind the cult of the final dawn. Beware the day when that demon finds a way to appear in this world. What are we going to do next? My visit to Kiavagama did not produce answers to all my questions. But we did succeed in dealing a blow to the cult by destroying the Fabricator Sensor's machine. I have directed my spies to track the sex surviving leaders. I am certain that they will have useful information for us soon. Though, no servant of the God Emperor has closer dealings with corruption than the agents of the Golden Throne. In its quest to guard the Imperium against its foes' most devious and secret schemes, the Inquisition seeks to understand the essence of evil. It is not enough for us to burn or cut down a rotten seedling. We must study it, understand it. All right, fair I was enough. Operating the machine created by the servants of the archenemy, and in doing so, I attracted the attention of the cult's master. Thank the throne that it was only a glancing touch. If it hadn't been, when I touched the cult's cogitator. I drew the thousand-eye gaze of evil upon myself, as any agent does when they interfere in the schemes of those who serve the ruinous powers. Thank you for finding the time for our conversation. The cults, as for those at the top of the cult's hierarchy, we have not yet met. We discovered the... as you wish. Good, I must take my leave. I think we're good with his quest. Still have Alderian Distress. Complete the development project uh, in any colony. I think we got most of that. We're getting more adamantine. That is not bad. And we're trading in people. That's good as well. Good, we need more people and then we can go and complete the other orders, but we ha now do have a couple of extract shims uh, from the planet which is good that's exactly what we need in order to get a few more uh, valuable resources and i think we're also more or less okay with our situation here unfortunately we've already purchased all of it uh, the one thing where we really need more money is navy a naval battle. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, 
Um, so, whenever the wearer has two melee weapons equipped, they gain plus 10 weapon skill and critical damage. Okay, cool. And we got Splinter Pistol. Which might be something for Jade. Okay, the one person who might need a new cloak is Abelard. Nah, that's not good. And he does have uh, the dodge stacking cloak, so no thank you. We're good. Well, that brings us to the end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, next time we're continuing with a bit more exploration of the Corona's Expanse. But until then, I must say thanks and have a good day. Take care and bye-bye.